Hello everyone and welcome to the Casa Podcast. Today we're back again, continuing our very special series on connecting. Um, for the last couple of episodes, we've been trying to learn all we can about connecting with people via social media, you know, the new world. Since outside is open back up again, we need to sharpen our skills, right? The interpersonal skills, though, the type of connecting and connections that are built in person. And for that, today, I have an amazing guest. Today, I have, you know, a beautiful Efia Yabwa is back, always gorgeous, always, you know, always has this delightful feel about her. But today, she's been eclipsed by the amazing <laughs> Miss Jennifer Caldero, the queen of connected. I, I, I was telling Efia about her. I've told Efia so much about her. But oh, I think yes. Jennifer connects people with people. She connects ideas with opportunities. She connects problems with solutions. Like whatever you want. She can even connect you to your Wi-Fi. If you're having <laughs> Wi-Fi challenges, just, just let us know. Jennifer can connect to me. She, she's the queen. She's got this art of connection. She's got connection down to an art. And today she's going to teach us some things, get us better prepared while we step out to go connect with people, try to connect people with opportunities and ideas. So I'm super excited to get into the conversation. But ladies, welcome to the Casa Podcast. Thank you. Thank you. For <laughs> Thank you. Thank How you. are you doing? How are you doing, Miss Jennifer? I am doing well. It's hot, but I'm surviving here. You know, the heat. <laughs> Uh, but I'm doing extremely well. I'm definitely elated to be here on this platform with you guys this afternoon. Oh, we're Thanks. glad to have you. I've heard so much about you. I've been waiting to meet you. And I'm glad I'm meeting you today. Yes. I've, I've heard so much about you. Well, that's wonderful. Good things, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You can trust Kojo, but yeah. Hey, yeah. AY, AY. Yeah. Look at the screech marks. You just threw me under the bus. Really? Yes, really? <laughs> you never know. You never know. I think we may have seen some sides. Probably yeah. not all of them, but maybe. <laughs> only, only good things. Only good things. Yeah. I only talk about good things. But yeah, today we want to learn to be able to connect we want to learn to be able to build connections and create connections i think that's one thing you're so amazing at creating connections right creating yeah. the right um dare i say professional matchmaking she connects real professional people to like and today we really want to get into it i know Efia has been buzzing she's been oh, buzzing yeah. with questions all day she's like, <laughs> questions. oh no a lot i just want one basic answer okay. to this question okay? okay like how did you get to like to doing this to connecting people how did you know you had a gift well, I'll first uh, start out by saying, of course, um, you know, it was when I, well, eight years ago, okay, um, when I, it was when I transitioned into my career um, in higher education. Mm -hmm. And so I love, I absolutely love people, mm. right? And so I obtained my bachelor's degree, just a little bit about me um, in sociology. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for those who may not know or have a clear understanding of the discipline, you know, in part, it is the study of human behavior and uh, interaction. And that really, that really examines the effect, right, of social influence and, of course, on different in or individuals and groups. Mm -hmm. So that is just, you know, uh, of course, that was just something I felt why I would think no one is running to probably go and say, hey, I'm going to get a, a degree in sociology or mm -hmm. anything like that. Where's the money? But for me, it was a passion, you mm -hmm. know, because I have a passion yeah. for people and I wanted to study something that would, you know, pique my interest. Mm 
And so therefore, it really helped me understand the behavior, um, the characteristics of people. Mm. Now, I will challenge an individual, you know, because all people are different and you must be able to adjust you know, mm. to achieve that goal or uh, be successful into whatever it is that you're wanting to do. Mm -hmm. So I would just say why I believe so much in, I mean, I just have that passion to want mm. to mm. not only connect people, but people who can be um, an impact, you mm. know, okay. to others and mm. in their lives because we all need each other at the end of the day. If mm -hmm. not, we would be the only one on this earth now, wouldn't mm -hmm. we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, absolutely. Definitely. So yes, uh, mm -hmm. you know, so that's pretty much how I uh, really got started. It was through uh, transitioning into my role in the area of higher education and mm -hmm. working with our uh, students. Uh, because before, just a little bit about me, of course, I think everyone knows that I am a higher education um, educational professional. Mm -hmm. But before that, I served in industry, corporate mm -hmm. America. Okay. And in that area and on that platform, I was more or less like of an introverted type mm -hmm. person. You mm -hmm. know, I. Oh, okay. I you don't look one. <laughs> okay. Very reserved, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would consider myself, to be honest now, you know, studying the two. I'm both. I'm a mix. I am, you know, con I consider myself really to be an ambivert. Mm. So, okay. uh, <laughs> look, I tell you, it, it, it's, you know, it's, it's like probably getting the best of both worlds. Okay. But um, typically, I would say that, um, you know, while I am somewhat reserved in some areas and environments and platforms, mm -hmm. I am open on many others mm. you know so it really just it really depends on the mood the context of the you know the conversation or the environment um, mm. that i'm in so mm. okay so you if if to see if i'm following your background your training your degree in sociology gave you that knack for knowing about individuals how people are and all those and then working both in corporate america and higher education gave you those platforms to actually sort of see the things people need and i'm sure uh, I, let, let me ask this this way transitioning from um corporate america to higher education mm -hmm. did you see the not not problem the need for people who can actually connect Especially when you're coming from work where people are, you know, corporate America where people are trained, they're working, they do business connections and all that. They come to higher ed and you see that, oh man, the students are not ready. They, they, they don't have the <laughs> skills. I mean, they can do the math. They can solve these algorithms. They can write these codes, but they can't connect with people. Did you ever see, was that transition very sharp? Seeing people who are just connecting daily and coming to school where people are learning and are so tunnel vision focused on the material in class that they're not actually creating connections and learning the people skills, the soft skills that will make them successful mm -hmm. in, in industry. Was that something you saw? Oh, definitely. Most definitely. Uh, it was a it may it was a huge transition. Um, mm -hmm. I would say, really. Those, I'm glad you hit on that because going into uh, working in higher education with, mm -hmm. you know, our scholars, you know, they have the book smarts. Mm -hmm. um, they're focused on what's going on in class. They're reading the chapters, right? Mm -hmm. But what happens after that? What happens when it's time to, when, you know, when you're graduating and it's time to go out into the workforce and you have to acquire certain soft skills, as you mentioned, um, to be able to do such. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I find unique and that I know personally that we're doing uh, in our college, we are implementing in our curriculum professional development. Mm. We have workshops. We host uh, various seminars for our mm -hmm. students mm -hmm. so that they can attend um, and they can acquire these skills mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they know, um, you know, what it is to go out and how to actually connect mm -hmm. and to network with 
other mm -hmm. individuals mm -hmm. in that professional or actually out there in industry as a whole. Um, we, just to give an example, um, one of our students, of course, um, hosted a professional development program and it consisted of professionalism, mm -hmm. dress attire, mm -hmm. business etiquette, Mm -hmm. Even when you're in restaurants, having dinners at re business receptions, mm -hmm. when you're networking with uh, such individuals as CEOs and mm -hmm. COOs mm -hmm. and all these other type of executives. So I think those are um, that's one thing that you're seeing now um, across the realm here in higher education is we are implementing that professional development for mm -hmm. students to be mm -hmm. able to go out and know how to do that connecting and network. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I am going to tell on you a little bit because <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I, I can say um, I am someone who has benefited from your connecting people. I think mm -hmm. you've connected me personally with a lot of people like john john was on the show for the for our listeners right john was on the show yeah. remember the episode tell me your story john where he taught us Season all about one. the street university right he has a phd from the street university yeah. and miss caldero, <laughs> miss caldero <laughs> connected me with him and i'm not going to say too much but she connected me with some amazing people and even last week she put me in touch with with mm, mm. like i said she takes ideas and great people and she connects them with opportunity but in doing these things in 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 connecting people i'm sure over the years there's some things you've picked up as to which two people are going to be a match what, what are some of the tools right if we want to start connecting like i have a friend who has a problem and i have another friend who has you know solutions to that problem what are some of the tools i need to examine whether or not it's going to be a good match like in, in trying to connect people what are some tools we need to pick up what are some you know, spidey senses we need to be working on. <laughs> well, this here is just, um, mm -hmm. uh, this is Jennifer 101, mm -hmm. you know, typically mm -hmm. really coming from me. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, you know, this goes back to how my actual degree prepared me. Mm -hmm. um, I study people. Mm -hmm. I study an individual. I <laughs> know them, their characteristics. Okay. Um, I you know, I talk with people and, and this is how I know, this is how I'm able to determine how to connect them. Mm. Because I actually, you have to talk to people, right? Mm -hmm. You got to get to know them. Mm -hmm. uh, know someone, maybe even, I mean, you don't have to dig too deeply, but maybe know on the surface, some of their likes, dislikes and habits. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it helps to really get to know an individual. Mm -hmm. And that is really how I can go about connecting people mm -hmm. uh, to another certain person who, you know, if, if someone is needing a job, like mm -hmm. right now, honestly, and say, hey, is, you know, give me a little background information about yourself. What is it that mm -hmm. you want to do? Where do you mm -hmm. see yourself? Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, just getting that little information I automatically know who I have in my back pocket that I can mm. say, hey, I got you. You know, mm -hmm. this is a good person that will be resourceful and mm -hmm. that would actually be able to help you. So I would say what that is one major, major thing. Mm. You have to get to know an individual. Um, you, you, you have to listen to them. You know, it, it pays to listen, get to know them, listen and you know, you can really take it from there. Uh, and again, it's all about studying them. So it's kind of like really a mix of psychology and sociology as well. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I'm, it's, you know, more sociology is just, you know, um, getting to know people uh, from diverse backgrounds. And that's another thing about myself. I am just not a person that just stay within the Black American community. Mm -hmm. um, I actually, you know, go off, of course, I, I, I'm a little diverse. So I have friends from different areas. Uh, I would say different countries, you know, in Africa, mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. instance, uh, which mm -hmm. is my favorite 
course, the motherland. <laughs> you have to visit. But yes, um, yes, definitely. I uh, and so I have tapped in so much to students because we do have international students in our program, mm -hmm. and so I have tapped in to their inner circle to mm -hmm. know what it is that they need in their mm -hmm. want. And to know how to actually connect them, to be able to help them on this side, because mm. believe it or not, mm. they okay. need that help on this side. Yep. No one, I mean, you do not have many people that are willing mm -hmm. to step out and help, you know, uh, our international students who come mm -hmm. to America. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So definitely, um, you know, I just think being able to getting to know an individual, talking mm -hmm. with them, mm -hmm. listening to them mm -hmm. as to who they are and what it is that they desire to do. And so mm -hmm. this is how you can come to the conclusion of being able to help that individual be successful mm. in whatever it is mm. they, you know, want mm. to. Mm. But, but I'm a bit confused here, right? Mm -hmm. So you talk about talking to them, listening to them. Mm -hmm. All these has to do with... Um, you know getting involved right mm -hmm. and you say you're an introvert back i mean back then not now how did you do it how did you you know get out there to talking to people and actually getting involved with people when you were like an introvert like you keep to yourself yeah. you don't want to be in events you don't want to be you know mingling and all that how did you do it well, I'll tell you this, and you're right. I was that introvert, but mm. I had to shift gears quickly mm -hmm. okay. if I wanted to be successful in my job in mm -hmm. working with these students. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you just have to step out on faith. And I mm. shift gears because mm. I am a person of faith. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, you know, my faith is everything to me. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, um, you know, I just had to shift gears. I mm -hmm. had to actually um, apply certain skills that I never had before. I mean, I was always this person that was shy, which is why I can't believe I'm talking now. Probably because I don't see people in the audience. <laughs> so you you don't look it. You don't I know look they may be. But don't. I, you know, that, I, I was very, very shy. And, uh, but, you know, being able to transition in this role that I'm in now, that really helped me just step out mm. and be able to not be afraid and to mm. speak to people. Now, I will say, I'll also give you a little tip here. If you're looking, if you're a person that's pretty shy and, and um, you know, you're very reserved, go to a workshop. Uh, they have uh, these different seminars where mm -hmm. you can go and, you know, for people who mm -hmm. uh, they'll help train you with public mm -hmm. speaking. Mm -hmm. I still plan to go myself mm -hmm. because there are a lot of things in my job role mm -hmm. to, that acquires me or actually that requires me to get up and speak in front of audiences. Mm -hmm. Some big, some small, but I have to speak. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just a part of my job. Mm. And so I know this is that's really basically how I came out of all this shyness and being an introvert. Now, on some platforms, mm -hmm. I th this is why I say, I mean, it's some of it is still there. Mm -hmm. So I'm the ambivert person. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I still have a little of that. I still carry that in certain environments, in certain settings right mm. but you know for the most part and i'm still working on it now every day and i i think today is the first step being able to be on here and to speak with you guys and um i think a lot of times when you do step on this type of platform or if you're on any platform the one and only the, the first thing you want to make sure you're always making sense right mm -hmm. you're making sense to a person because sometimes you feel like if you're not making sense or something i mean you'll get nervous mm -hmm. and if you don't have a certain script you know but um typically i'll just say that transition into Hmm. Oh, sure. I think we're having a little technical, technical challenge here. Okay. Um, we're back. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. There we go. So I, had, so I had to actually be able to, um, you know, I had to adjust. 
Mm -hmm. I had to make the adjustment. And then mm -hmm. not only that, I had to make money. So either I learned to <laughs> stop and speak to people. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that's interesting. And I have a few yeah. comments coming in. Uh, and the comment section is buzzing. I have okay. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna try and ask a few questions from the comment section. But first there, there's a compliment I really okay. didn't want to miss. Benjamin said. I think we need a lot of people like you in the world. People who are willing to yeah. share their art, their craft, you know, things you've learned over the years, share it with the rest of us. We really appreciate this conversation. Really appreciate you sticking out for an ambivert to come and talk to us. And yes, as much as you don't see the people who are listening, they really watch and a lot of people are enjoying the conversation. But oh <laughs> I have a, a special request for the tribe, right? For for the people who watch the show. Um they're asking if your global um, speaker series is something you do internationally, like globally for people. But can I ask it this way? Would it be possible to get some excerpts or some videos from this global leadership series to share with, with my listeners? I promise to keep it to my listeners and the people <laughs> who are in the show, right? And so all the, I know you've had lawyers from from Nigeria during the NSAS. We had that great guy come in. We had John come in. I know you've had a couple of episodes, right? Would it be possible just for the tribe, just for the listeners of Casa Podcast? You know, give us an insight. Let us listen to some of these great industry changing personalities and individuals. And, you know, let's find a way to learn and connect. If that's possible, Dachahine, I would try and get the material to you. And like you can see from the knot, it's something that could happen. And <laughs> <laughs> how do students from, um, how does, how do students from other parts of the world benefit from such knowledge? And I think this is a big thing for those of us coming into a new system. And I think yeah. meeting people like you is going to be a game changer, right? People who can connect us with ideas. Because moving halfway across the world to come into a new environment, a new system where things are very different, as much as we might not, you know... Um, see or as much as we might not want to admit things are very different and for um people coming in from a, across the world we need people to be able to connect and today we are learning about the tools where even if we didn't get the opportunities how can we pick up these tools and try and connect people how how can we and you've taught us we should listen we should ask questions we should get to know people i think it's 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 powerful i'm going to learn these three things listening and talking to people with the aim of getting to know them so i can connect them with the right mm -hmm. thing uh, mm -hmm. yes, that absolutely and of course i do have some other tips that i will mm -hmm. like if, if you know mm -hmm. once we go through other questions or something mm -hmm. of that nature to share okay. uh, with the mm -hmm. audience and so, how they can be, um, you know, successful with that. One of the things, though, we all know that, okay, I, I believe I saw one of the questions about globally. How would mm -hmm, this benefit mm -hmm, mm -hmm. globally? Mm -hmm. um, okay, so one of my favorite platforms, and you can't go wrong with it, is LinkedIn social media mm. um now we know we have all different types of platforms such as yeah. tiktok instagram facebook but that's not the way uh if you are actually because i feel like if someone is trying to connect with me on facebook or instagram that's more that's my personal space that's more mm -hmm. of a personal space for friends mm -hmm. and family however linkedin gives you this platform where you can connect with so many different professionals and individuals mm. across the world mm -hmm. um, to be able to help you uh, even utilize and get some of these type of soft skills uh join in on seminars I am like a part, I believe I'm a part of all universities um, in Nigeria, maybe some in Ghana for sure I'm connected with. And of course, obviously, uh, pretty much the, uh, many universities here, right here in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So I follow, so I mean, there is just, LinkedIn is just a great platform for mm -hmm. anyone who wants to acquire, whether it's work, Mm -hmm. professional development mm -hmm. it, the list goes on and on mm -hmm. you can use and utilize linkedin for so mm -hmm. i would really advise if no one has it mm -hmm. get it 
Mm-hmm. You need, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. And I uh, go ahead. Mm-hmm. No, no, finish your. Oh, no. And I'm just saying, well, and then too, so you come to the state. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I don't know where most listeners are, but I think coming into the state, and if you are interested in any type of career, mm-hmm. um, LinkedIn will definitely help you um, mm-hmm. to get connected mm-hmm. um, from recruiters to different industries. I mean, you have all uh, Fortune 500, 100 companies, every one is there Mm -hmm. so there and even learning platforms too as Mm -hmm. well credentials Mm -hmm. you know you share your ibm Mm -hmm. credentials there too i mean it's just so many things that you can utilize Mm -hmm. that platform Mm -hmm. it's Mm -hmm. one of my favorites Mm -hmm. linkedin talking about connecting people with opportunities i remember sometime last year or the year before you connected me with a mb um, national black uh, mba association right and we went for the conference and that was one of the things that was hammered on a good linkedin profile and you know using the opportunities on linkedin to connect and i think one of the things i picked from the conference was the importance especially for professional development and connections with like the the, the the importance of LinkedIn. And so I'm glad you're sharing that with us. And for the listeners, if you do not have an active LinkedIn, I know a lot of you have that passive LinkedIn you created like five years ago yeah. that you've not even updated your profile. You don't have, I, basically you can keep a running CV on your LinkedIn, keep it active update your information if you get new new things put it on there basically like i said let that be your first draft of your cv and try and connect um with some of these skills um jennifer has been sharing with us right um talking to people breaking out of your shell trying to create these professional connections linkedin could be your way in right you might not be able to meet these people in person but connecting with them in the in the message section like finding a way you, you know even learning how to text or type at people like in a professional manner you like checking your center you, know, you can't go and do hi 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 like you do on instagram or on facebook right and so i think it's a good bubble to be in to sort of hone these professional skills that will help you connect um so um this is a very topical question on the topic of linkedin what are three things you should have on there so if you someone needed like three important things what do you think they should be oh definitely first and foremost a business professional headshot Mm. 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 no casual pitch in LinkedIn is a totally different platform. Mm-hmm. You can save all of that other stuff for Instagram and Facebook. Uh, so a business professional headshot. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure your credentials are updated, mm-hmm. uh, such as your degrees or any other certifications that you mm-hmm. acquired uh, mm-hmm. throughout the matriculation of your program at your university. Or just maybe it could be something as simple as a certificate mm-hmm. uh, or, or a little seminar or something that you completed online. So make sure you have those things visible. Mm-hmm. And as well as please keep an updated, um, current updated employment information. Mm-hmm. Working, mm-hmm. Make sure you keep that area updated too as mm-hmm. well. Mm-hmm. Um, I will say um, one of the things though that I noticed um i think i believe well actually i'll just stick to that because that really just uh answers the question if someone is here Mm -hmm. and i think that's a more broader uh going into something more broader so Mm -hmm. those three things i think keeping your uh, employment information Mm -hmm. uh, well first your business professional headshot Mm -hmm. uh, your credentials Mm -hmm. and your employment information updated Mm -hmm. as well as your skills Make sure mm. you have all mm. your skills updated. Mm. If you're constantly acquiring or obtaining new skills, skills. make sure you definitely include mm. that there. So, Christine, you asked for three and you got four, right? <laughs> your professional <laughs> headshot. <laughs> your professional headshot. It's very important. I think a lot of people miss that. Like, the reason why people are not connecting is because you're on there throwing up signs. Like, <laughs> it's not the place for that. Like, like Jennifer pointed out, keep some of them for Instagram and Facebook. They're, they're, they're more suited for that. The professional headshot, 
make sure you're updating your credentials right if you get new skills you have to put them in there and i think the bio page the, the profile page try and update it as often as you can go in there write out the things you need to put in there if you have some special skills put them in there languages whatever like make sure the profile page is completed a lot of people have like 20 percent completion right they have their name no picture nothing so it's just a linkedin account and it has no activity on the profile page and <laughs> Again, there's a follow-up question from Christine. How do you reflect oh, soft skills yeah. on LinkedIn? How yeah. do you reflect soft skills on LinkedIn? That, that's a tough one. <laughs> what, what is, is, was it Christine? How, yeah, Christine yeah. is asking. Is, mm -hmm. is that the name? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Well, never mind. Oh, Christine, why did you give me that tough question? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to repeat his name, mm -hmm. <laughs> but definitely if I don't give you everything you need here, mm -hmm. I can definitely always do my research mm -hmm. is what I say. Cause anytime mm -hmm. I do not know the answer to mm -hmm. a question, I research it and I follow up and I get back mm -hmm. with you to give you that answer. However, I know there's an area or there should be an area where you can touch on your soft skills. One thing I will say when you're doing a resume or like you spoke on a bio mm -hmm. don't be too wordy mm -hmm. keep it simple mm -hmm. because one thing and i think you may notice too kojo over here you know we don't want to have to read a whole story mm -hmm. from kindergarten <laughs> on to where you are now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we just don't want to know all of that and 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 and, and married and brothers mm -hmm. and sisters you know i'll say get to the point uh mm -hmm. keep it clean mm -hmm. Hone in on those key skills or key mm -hmm. things that highlights you as an individual mm -hmm. and that highlights your talent. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, I'm going to just be real too. There, there's nothing you can't find on Google. Google, that's your best mm -hmm. friend. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, you can Google sample mm -hmm. resumes, CVs, cover letters, it's all out there. Mm -hmm. and even such question that you did just ask me too as well. They have those sample templates out there mm -hmm. that you can you uh, you know search and you do your research there, and it'll actually help you out in that mm -hmm. area as to how mm -hmm. you should reflect those skills or such skills on LinkedIn. Okay, so um, just to add a little, because I think you did answer the question, right? Christine, reflect on soft skills. Like Jennifer mentioned, keep your bio brief. If you're going to write in the soft skill session, I have gravity as a soft skill, you have to demonstrate it. The things you want to talk about, right? Like she, she talked about using Google, doing your research. If you're going to connect with someone, say the VP of a company, right? On LinkedIn, you should have done your research, right? You don't tell the person, hey, I'm industrious, I'm hardworking, I'm that. Demonstrate it by going straight to the point. Listen, I looked at this thing you guys are doing. I've seen this thing being put together. I think I have the skills to be able to work. So you make the job easy for the person. You talk about soft skills like being organized, being detail oriented. If I come and I'm looking at your skill session or say your employment history and I see 2014 followed by 2020, then followed by 2013, I can see you're not detail oriented. You're not organized. So you can reflect these soft skills by how carefully you tailor your profile. If I come in there, everything is neat. Sometimes people are so ordered that even the lines are so, sentences are of the same just like length right it's so clean it's so tidy these are soft skills people can see they're organized they're detail oriented they, they have good communication skills right if you're writing a whole one page essay telling me about your kids and you you're not you're not detail oriented you're not you're not straight to the point you, you know we have to and these are how we reflect these soft skills by putting in work in your bio organizing things putting ideas together presenting them well that way you can convince people you can present right you can give decent presentation because these are all soft skills communication you know bravity and all that and so your profile can be your way of reflecting your soft skills and i can see song saying he's going to sleep on linkedin today song is very important <laughs> 
you really have to go in there and update your stuff keep it moving and keep everything going i think linkedin would be a great way to build connections and and you know practice some of these ones we are all detail oriented and have exceptional communication skills exactly everybody puts it on their cv CV. and the cv looks a mess and they tell me they're detail oriented when (laughs) they've spelled oriented wrong i'm like clearly you're not detail oriented right and so yeah definitely christine it's something to look out for and yeah song everybody is like come on get on there and let's let's grow on linkedin it's a good way to but now that we've talked about some of these things and people have asked about how to update your linkedin and keep it you know going i'm sure in your years of connecting people there's some some things you've really realized them tools in people's toolkits that you're like this shouldn't be here what are some absolute don'ts If we're trying to connect, if we're trying to connect people or even trying to connect with people ourselves, what are some things we should not do, especially in the professional um, setting? Well, I would say, uh, well, number one, don't just connect with someone just to be connecting with them. I think uh, technically, if you don't connect with someone that you do not know also well, right? Mm -hmm. Because I feel that you should have a in-depth knowledge of someone who, you know, you want to connect with. Uh, you ha- I mean, you have to be sure uh, that this person could actually make an impact on mm-hmm. what it is that you're wanting to do and yeah. what your goal that you're wanting to achieve. So I would definitely say, definitely ask for permission to connect with someone Mm, um, mm. in such way, you know, Mm. uh, and and there are very, you know, uh, various ways you can do that. um, Just really without being too uh, desperate, maybe, (laughs) or uh, (laughs) seeming like you're just, you know, yeah, I I would say desperate, that would be just Mm -hmm. the one word. I mean, Mm -hmm. that can do that. But uh, I, I would say for sure, definitely, just try to, in some fashion or form, you know, just kind of get a, a little slight, you know, light permission there um, mm. before trying to mm. connect with someone. Because again, mm. you may come across some people, they are just not people, you know, mm-hmm. they're people mm-hmm. person and they are that introverted person, probably mm-hmm. way worse. <laughs> mm. So, mm. Uh, you know, you want to be sure uh, for the best result. Mm-hmm. You mm-hmm. want to take that action. Okay. Okay. So we should we should not come across as I, I think and, and you said something that really hit me different. Don't connect with people just for the sake of connecting. Yeah. Right. You have to know what the person is. And and so I think would it be a good place to ask yourself what do they bring to the table? I think this is a, a more suited book ways to, to ask the question, what do you bring to the table? So before you connect with someone, you should have done your research. You should have actually seen what that kind of connection is going to lead to. How is it going to help, you know, achieve a certain goal? Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. One other thing mm-hmm. that I would add to as well just don't connect with a person because you need something or just when Mm. you need something. Mm. Mm. You need to build rapport Mm. with a person Mm -hmm. before you start getting into this habit of saying, you know, um, is there someone that I can talk to? If it's a job, do you know someone who could possibly help me in this area Mm -hmm. or whatever? I think once you've connected with someone, you know, stay in touch, build a rapport with that person. I'm not saying you have to be BFFs and be on with them every day and night and and everything, but Mm -hmm. build a rapport with that person over the course of time Mm -hmm. to where it's not, it doesn't come off where I need to, uh, I I need something, you know, Mm -hmm. and this is the only time this person reaches out to me is when Mm -hmm. they need something. Try to 
uh, you know, contribute something mm -hmm. in some sort of way. And I'm not saying anything like money or anything like that, but you know, if there's something that you know about this other person, maybe something that they like, or even if it's just something like a quote, I, I don't know, but just being able to build a relationship a relationship and build rapport with them, mm. um, I think is very essential. Mm. Mm. So mm. if I'm getting it right, right, it, it has to be more genuine. Mm -hmm. It's not something you can just fake. You have to be genuinely yeah. interested in the person you're trying to connect. Mm -hmm. So like, you know more about them. And so you know who this person will suit, right? Because mm -hmm. I mean, sometimes you say fake it till you make it, but I don't know how that is going <laughs> to fit in here. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to fit in here because... <laughs> I mean, it's like we have to mm -hmm. have genuine interest in what you're doing. Like, mm -hmm. you can't just just do it. As you said, you have to contribute to the person's life, like know the person mm -hmm. and create that relationship or the rapport. Mm -hmm. So how do we fake it to make it in this instance? Like how? <laughs> because sometimes, you know, you've not really settled to the level where you get comfortable with the person. You want to really be part, mm -hmm. like, you know, the person. So before you get there, like, how are we juggling it from the beginning to you actually get comfortable with the person? Mm, mm. That's interesting. Yeah. I, I, and, and you know what? I'll say this, too. Because one thing, and, and this and this really just, you know, goes back to me getting to know a person, listen to who they are, knowing their characteristics, right? Because one of the things, and I know, you know, I, I just speak from as an American, because <laughs> I know we are a different breed of people for sure. Uh, and one thing, you know, that you can always pick up their faith or, you know, and, and so this is how I learn these things, you know, and, and, and it's interesting. How do you come across being genuine? But again, I, I would say for me in my experience, I always try to seem to be a person, um, to be resourceful. You know, yes. I feel like if I can be a great resource or be resourceful for that person in some way or fashion or form, then I am contributing something to mm. our relationship here, mm. how mm. we can continue to build and continue to mm -hmm. develop this type of relationship. Mm -hmm. I mean, if, for instance, <laughs> So Kojo, let's, let, me, let me go ahead and um, I guess maybe us, for example, mm -hmm. you know, I, of course, I know how we met because mm -hmm. of, you know, our uh, organizations mm -hmm. at, our mm -hmm. our, at our institutions. Mm -hmm. But however, there were just other things, you know, that I learned more about you mm -hmm. and I'm sure you about me. And we just mm -hmm. automatically in discussing those type things, we knew how we could contribute you know, and play roles in each other's lives, mm -hmm. you know, professional mm -hmm. lives, mm -hmm. uh, student lives. We're both PhD mm -hmm. students. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's just so many different commonalities there. Mm -hmm. And I just think that that over time, because of that, that helped us develop our relationship and to where we are today. Like, mm -hmm. I know what I can pick up. I know I can pick up the phone. I know what I can call you for. I can pick up the phone and call you for mm -hmm. and vice versa. Um, mm -hmm. And so I would just say, I mean, really, that would be my more so that would be the answer to that mm -hmm. particular question mm -hmm. and developing that particular relationship. Mm -hmm. You have to foster that thing. Mm -hmm. That's great. And, That's and, great. and anyway, I think you asked at the beginning, I think one of the things professionally, mm -hmm. is, and this is where doing the work before you connect with someone comes in handy. Jennifer said, ask and listen. Approach people, especially professionally, about something they do and know they've done. Show interest in their work. So if I'm going to connect with, say, a professor, and I've done my research, I've seen some of the papers he's written, I've seen something we have a common interest in. So I reach out, establish the first connection, then I can ask questions on the research they're doing. So you've been looking at this, like, how does this play a, a role in that, right? So you're looking at income inequality. How does race, especially in the South of America, play a role in this research you've done? Mm -hmm. Then kick back and listen. They can tell you a lot more. They can tell you even how they went through the process. And as you're listening, showing interest, showing, you know, 
it, it build it helps you build that rapport to that point where if it's a recommendation you need if it's a research opportunity you need if it's a collaboration you need you've talked enough you demonstrated your understanding of what they're doing you've paid attention to what they do to be able to ask for these things and like jennifer said i feel every time you want to ask even with our friends every time you want to ask for something in the back of your mind you should have something you're willing to give there should be something you would i i don't like it when i feel like i'm going to be a burden to someone can you help me yeah. with that can you help yeah. me with that in my mind it has to be if i'm going to ask them to help me with say my research or help me with say my analysis bit i should be able to help them with their literature review i, I should you know like in a professional space there should be something you're also bringing to the table mm-hmm. as you're researching to know what the person can bring you should have something you're sending so if say insightful questions if it's say you know some soft skills or some even technical skills you can bring to the team right hey i see you guys are working on this um, um data update right i have this knowledge uh, i can bring i have like, I, you know i feel it's very important especially in connecting professionally because professional people have a lot to do there's so much on their plate and having that contact who comes in and asks give me that give me that give me that is not a very fun thing for everyone so no. i think it's one of those things ay oh definitely mm-hmm. yeah. and so we we've lot learned about the do's we've learned about the don'ts and now i have okay i think you have something for us because i have a last question that would probably i'm listening last question who is the question from is it from you or is it from someone no it's from me i i don't think i we i don't see any questions one of the things i do want Mm -hmm. uh your audience with Mm -hmm. and those are just really four tips on just being able to make the on making real connections while Mm -hmm. networking right Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so the first thing i would advise uh people to do is just relax be yourself Mm. and relax Mm. right Mm. you know for example you know instead of just entering a conversation trying to find the right thing to say um just imagine that you're at a dinner party with some of your closest friends someone that you're really close with and just that helps you just be yourself also attire when you are dressed for success and we all know this we feel good right and it gives you that Mm -hmm. boost of confidence that you need to feel good about yourself you know Mm -hmm. i always quote my brother on this because he's always saying this when you look good you feel good and so (laughs) this really helps that really helps you know sharpen your irons there Mm -hmm. but i would definitely tell uh you know just just be comfortable be Mm -hmm. yourself and just relax uh when you're in such setting um secondly be open because Mm -hmm. after all this you know don't, don't be really afraid to open up to people right and so people love while you know people love talking about themselves so even if you're shy um you know you can ask the questions to the other person you know like how are things going or um you know how is it how what is it like working for this company do you know just find just Mm -hmm. the simple thing to say Mm -hmm. and really when you do that uh you've really opened the door for more interesting and future conversations with individuals Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. And thirdly, I'll say be inquisitive. Mm. So with that, of course, this is really not all about you, right? So, you know, people, although we love to, we we can talk about ourselves, we can do that probably all day long. Mm -hmm. But it's really just, again, figuring out, you know, how to have those great conversations and Mm -hmm. Um, you know, that really just opens up the door, um, again, for more and, uh, building that report with that, in that relationship. Uh, fourth, I would say, just be generous, Mm. be generous, Mm. you know, um, a great way to really make, um, a lasting connection. And we just spoke about it is to be helpful if you can be. 
Mm. You know, I found um, to where that I offer a piece of it or maybe even some expertise, you know, to make an introduction to, you know, to a contact, you know, people are excited, right? And mm -hmm. so they're excited more than you think. Mm -hmm. So they're also more likely to really just um, stay in touch when they know, again, you can be that great resource for mm. them. That mm. is so key. And, um, and again, I would say, of course, I will bring my faith back in here. So last but not least, um, of course, I am a woman of faith and I pray for a divine connection every day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I can't, I mean, I can't pray for them enough. And I'm telling you, when I tell you those prayers have been answered, they have, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, you know, throughout the years, I've been meeting great people. Um, and, and that's what you want. You want to have great people in your circle, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't bring everybody to the to the party with you sometimes. Mm -hmm. There are mm -hmm. some people you're going to lose on the way. You know why? Mm -hmm. Because you're growing. You're developing. Mm -hmm. You cannot, I mean, so everyone is not going to be able to go with you. So be prepared, you know, to lose some people on the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and everything. So I would just say, um, you know, those divine connections and just being, I, I, you know, praying for people that I've met and keeping my circle strong and it's airtight. And I know even now I still may lose a few people that's unfortunate mm -hmm. or unfortunate, but you know, Hey, you gotta grow. Go and grow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> go and grow so you mm -hmm. know i mean that's just one of those things i i mm. would say but definitely uh and that's those divine connections it's like no other because mm -hmm. i've met some awesome people on my journey and i'm continuing to meet these people each day mm -hmm. uh mm -hmm. that are being able to be impactful in my life and helping me impact others as well mm. yeah. mm. Those are just some few little things that I will be sweat. I don't want to mm. take up too much. <laughs> that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. And again, this is why this is why um, the last question was going to be amazing. And I think a lot of the people in the comment section are going to love this. Given what you told us about how to connect with people professionally, how to build these professional relations, I can say, hey, relax, be yourself, right? Be open, you know, all these amazing things, be generous. I, I'm starting to think some of these skills are transferable. For those of us who want to find that special person, I think this is pretty great advice if you're going to try and meet people, praying for divine connections. That's, you know, and so I'm sure some of the young men jotting things down like, hmm, this could work when I try to start <laughs> with young women. And a lot of, would, would you like to be back on the Castle podcast to teach us how we can take some of these arts of connecting professionally into our social life because I, heaven knows if Fia needs some help. She she needs. <laughs> Could you? <laughs> Could you think... Fia needs some help. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. See, so would you, you would you be willing to come back though? Oh yes. You know, and... let me tell you, your audience they would just be so thrilled. You know, when I, I don't know if they if you know you guys can put in the chat. Do you want the relationship? Let's let's pose that question. There we go. It can go a lot deeper than that. <laughs> and actually, it's not from a book. It's mm -hmm. from the walk of Jennifer's life here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, look, I experienced these things. These are real things. You know, mm. definitely, I love to discuss such things. If I know I can help people, do, do we put that to a test? Let's ask the people in the comment section. Like, if you're watching right now, you want Jennifer to come back and tell us about her journey, her relationships, and all the things we can learn, the lessons. Please put a comment in the mm. put it in the comment section. Please let us know if you want her to be back for another one. Um, Christina's like, yes, we want to yes, know. Yes, please, yes, ma'am. If we you need guys you want to know, let us we know in the comment back. section. Let us know, guys. You're going to want to know because I'm telling you, I can, I can probably write a book maybe because it's the oh. book of life. It's the mm -hmm. book of life. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, it's, oh. it's just my journey mm -hmm. and I'm sure other people uh, could really benefit, you know, mm -hmm. from that. Mm -hmm. uh, we all are unique individuals. Of course we're different, but still at the end of the day, you know, look, we all share some of these same common mm -hmm. interests. 
Mm. And that's mm. for sure. Mm. Uh, I would love to, absolutely, I would love to come back. And look, I will bring even more spice to the- There we go. There yeah. we go. I will bring oh some- my God. <laughs> <laughs> I am just happy. I'm just happy to hear that. Like having you back again to talk about that talk about relationships meeting people building relationships the tools we need and learning from your stories and learning from other people man it's going to be amazing and the and the comments are coming in yes we want her back on casa she should come back that's what enoch is saying the first one was from emmanuel song is saying you should come back christine is like yes please yes please today you poured so much into us and we really need you back we're gonna have so much fun (laughs) (laughs) man i'm telling you guys and and i think it'll be more on a because see with this it'll be more on a personal level versus this professional Mm. okay i can't Mm. wait so you're gonna cut loose and tell us more stories Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, you yeah. Not, you would not want to miss it. You would not want to miss it. Man, yeah, we're, I we're... feel like even when I was speaking um, here about the professionalism and everything, mm-hmm. you know, you still have to stick to some type of script or whatever. Mm-hmm. But when you're talking about your life and when you mm-hmm. live this thing and what you've mm-hmm. gone through, mm-hmm. there's no script for that. It's mm-hmm. not. Scripted. It's just mm-hmm. real one-on-one, real mm-hmm. life. Mm. And I know a lot of people want you to be back, but there's a question that just came through, right? Sure. Someone just asked, how can we connect with you professionally? Now, people want to get connected. I'm sure LinkedIn <laughs> will be a good place. So I might like I might like to leave a link to your LinkedIn in the comment section. And yeah. so that people who want to connect with you on LinkedIn, and please, if you connect, please let her know you're from the Casa. You're from the tribe, right? Yeah. You got to connect with her. And Wait. I'm sure you're going to get some you know vip treatment you know like it's the tribe and, and that's why we love having amazing people like jennifer come on and we oh, definitely yeah. i'll leave a link to her um, linkedin in the comment section yeah. you can connect with her i'm sure there are tons of resources she can direct you to point you to connect you with like i said she connects ideas with opportunities just show yourself as a person who is great and willing to work and jennifer will find you the right connection i i am a testament to that she's connected me with so many people she's put me in so many rooms i never thought i'd be in but she's like you know come to the office and i'll introduce you to someone and before you know you're sitting before deans and you know heads of departments and vps of big companies and you know people with 30 40 years of experience she is the boss she is the woman who connects so hey connect with her on linkedin and i'm sure i'm sure if you follow all the things she's talked about you would you would not regret it but yeah people are commenting divine connections <laughs> and then how do we find you on social media specifically instagram for me oh my god people want the insta people Ew, want wow. the insta <laughs> we start with linkedin first <laughs> Christine, you got it we're gonna we're gonna stay on linkedin and then maybe from there you know we can we can yeah. get personal because uh, instagram facebook and all that like like jennifer mentioned those are personal those are like the click click and so let's start professionally and then it grows from there but people yeah. are applauding the growth and people want to grow um Dacha Hine wants you back he wants you back for the for the relationship I'm, I'm sure we are all going to learn so much but oh, yeah. thank you so much for coming Ewa you have any more questions I know you have like I'm gonna save those questions for next week <laughs> for when you really need help when I really need help <laughs> Who's, what? could you please <laughs> Guys, I don't, I don't need help, and Kojo, I'm going to get look, look. Hey, it was fine. Help? It's fine. Oh, it's guys, fine. we've but... been doing this show. What? How many episodes? So long, and Ay has been. You know, I would talk about it when we talk about love. She needs help. We, those of you who oh. are fit, please Jenny, pray. But trust me, I don't need she help. Needs wait, she, she, wait, did you say she needs help with love? I mean, what? what? <laughs> No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't say that. I I don't snitch oh. on my friends like that. No, 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 no. But she needs help in 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 some areas. She she just. Oh, needs help. No, no, don't do her like that. It's all love. It's all love. No. I know mean, she knows she's my favorite mm-hmm. person on the planet. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. That is so mean. <laughs> Telling everyone I don't need help. 
Jada, Jada. I don't believe no, Jenny, but I, I need to talk to you, but I know <laughs> hell. You know, no, just, no. Mm. just just learn from your experience. Well, I'll say this though, guys. I think with this particular topic or what mm-hmm. you know, when we um do move on that, mm-hmm. I think it'll be a contribution on everyone, mm-hmm. uh, from everyone and their experiences too as well. Now, of course, I will chime in a lot, but I, I think you know, you have a lot to bring to the platform. I would assume yep. about yep. your experiences and maybe some relationship. We want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. But, and, uh, uh, mm-hmm. Go ahead. I took my glasses off just for this. If he does not need help. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah. But go ahead. Where you no, I was finished because I was going to wrap, wrap up the up. show. Yeah. Okay. Well, one little thing. I just want to leave everyone with one little mm-hmm. quote. Uh, mm-hmm. Definitely um, the most important things in life are connections that you make with others. Mm. 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 Can, can you please give us that quote again because we need to jot it down okay mm-hmm. it is the most important things in life are the connections that you make with others Tom mm. Mm. the most Thank important you. things in life are the connections you. you make with others that's amazing what a quote that's amazing and we really appreciate you coming on the show the tribe is really happy like a comment section of a buzzing to have you back everybody really loved having you on the show she's done amazing on this episode mr bill said her delivery is just on point i couldn't agree more mr bills she has to come back song is saying she has to come back we want her back we want her back the comment section is um faustina said i agree you need to come back oh, she is faustina. Just oh my amazing. god amazing oh, so, oh you're too kind casa such an amazing episode i loved it everybody has loved having you on the show i have been honored to have you on the show like i said at the beginning of the show a fear is uh, everything here and today there was an eclipse of the fear <laughs> like today we had an amazing person come on and turn the show and it said we Aww. can't thank you enough we really appreciate your time spending time with us teaching us pouring into us and pointing us the way right where we can really connect and for those of you with our faith i'm sure you just came from church take all the anointing and please Pray for me to get divine connections. Not not if yeah, I need help. If you say she doesn't need help. So guys, <laughs> me, me, all the help right here, right here, right here. <laughs> and yeah, thank you so much for coming on the show. Um, Christine said, best episode. Good day, everyone. Oh. Thanks, Jennifer. Oh. I'll find you on LinkedIn. Thanks, Good Joy and if yeah. Thanks, Casa. Christine, thank Spend you so much. Next oh, week. Thank you. And and Christine just left with a little shade. She said, Prime has a challenger. A challenger. So now one of our favorite guests who's been on is Prime. And now it looks like you're taking Prime's position. And <laughs> so can he come on the relationship episode yeah i'm thinking yeah, about yeah. it i think it will be amazing to have you and prime on it's gonna be a bomb episode so guys <laughs> like christine just made a match prime v um, um, um jennifer if he and i are just gonna sit and watch this like everybody we're gonna is gonna, we're gonna observe but thank yeah. you so much for joining us everyone who listened i i see Faustina is here Faustina, your seat is still up on this um on the podcast please come sit and let's do some more talking but thank you all <laughs> so much for joining thank you all so much i i really appreciate you guys and thank you jennifer for coming on the show and would love to have you back anytime and if you are your boy thank you as always you're you're just amazing and thanks all the listeners it's been the casa podcast and once again from the tribe it's bye bye